Over the last several months, we've intensified the department's R&D efforts to identify and deliver information that informs our response to COVID-19. ST is working to identify, develop, deploy, and deploy the tools and information to support our response to this crisis. As part of our efforts, we're leveraging the unique capabilities of ST's National Biodefense Analysis and Countermeasure Center to study the biology of the COVID-19 virus. This center is a high biocontainment laboratory located in Frederick, Maryland. Yesterday, I shared the emerging results of our work that we're doing now with the Coronavirus Task Force. And today, I would like to share certain trends that we believe are important. If I may have the first slide, please. And while that's coming up, our most striking observation to date is the powerful effect that solar light appears to have on killing the virus, both surfaces and in the air. We've seen a similar effect with both temperature and humidity as well, where increasing the temperature and humidity, or both, is generally less favorable to the virus, this effort. So in summary, within the conditions we've tested to date, the virus in droplets of saliva survives best in indoors and dry conditions. The virus in droplets of saliva survives best in indoors and dry conditions. The virus does not survive as well in droplets of saliva, and that's important because a lot of testing being done is not necessarily being done, number one, with the COVID-19 virus, and number two, in saliva or respiratory fluids. There are many unknown links uh, in the COVID-19 transmission chain. We believe these trends can support practical decision-making to lower the risks associated with the virus. If I could have my next slide, and when that, while that comes up, you'll see a number of some practical applications. For example, increasing the temperature and humidity of potentially contaminated indoor spaces appears to reduce the stability of the virus. And extra care may be warranted for dry environments that do not have exposure to solar light. 